everybody, it's Blue Ducky, and welcome back to another toy review. And today it's the Friendship Games My Little Pony Equestria Girl. I have three things to review in this video. I have the motocross bike, which is just the bike, but it looks really, really cool. And then I have Sugar Coat in the sporty style outfit, and also Indigo Zap in the sporty style outfit to review with you guys. See how they work on this awesome motocross bike. But before I get into the review, I just want to give you every one out there a huge thanks to subscribers or new viewers. I appreciate every view, thumbs up, and comment. And if you're a new viewer, please hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all my new doll reviews. And we have a special guest here, Mr. Finnegan Wake. And all I wanted to say about him is that um, for your convenience, there's going to be a clickable link in the upper right hand corner of the screen that has, I did a playlist of all my do new doll reviews, which includes Finnegan Wake. So make sure to hit uh, the little card in the rubber upper right hand part of the screen. First off I just wanted to show off the front of the boxes. This is the motocross bike and you have art of sunset shimmer and rainbow dash. A uh, little cardboard cutouts sitting on top of this motocross bike. And here's a look at the back with the super cool artwork of the motocross bike. You can see it has like a pony head that's really cool and it has golden wings. Oh that fit the doll dolls that's cool and it's wonder colts versus shadow bolts which is what the um friendship games is all about and then here is a look at the front of sugar coats box in the sporty style and the friendship games logo and a look at the back it says sporty style call it like it is and her name is sugar coat and the event is for motocross. Here's a look at the front of Indigo Zap's box. You can see her artwork down below. And a look at the back of the box, which I'm pretty sure in the movie, uh, people from Crystal Prep never got wings or ears, but they look cool anyway. Okay, so each one of these dolls comes with their own motocross helmet that is ponyfied with the pony ears. This is Sugar Coats. It's orange and it has black around it and it has an S for shadow bolts. And then this card kind of kind of looks like a racing license and it has her name Sugar Coat. And then on the back, it has an advertisement for the app that you scan the necklaces for. And here is a look at Indigo Zaps. And her helmet is red. It has that dark around the eyes. And then the strap that goes around the chin is yellow. And it both, they have pony ears. Okay, first we'll check out Indigo Zaps face makeup. She has blue eyebrows some pink eye makeup and then under her one eye it looks like a cloud with a lightning bolt and a pink star and then she has some pink lipstick and then there's lightning bolts in her eyes which are yellow orangey color both indigo zap and uh sugar coat come with goggles which makes sense um since they are racing and indigo zaps a goggles are purple. Her hair is pulled to the side in a side ponytail and she has quite a few different colors through her hair. There's blue and purple and red and a darker purple color. It's very pretty all together. Indigo Zap also has these awesome wings. They're very translucent pale yellow to match her skin tone. Um, so I'm guessing Indigo Zap in pony form would be a Pegasus. So there are two things on Indigo Zap in Sugar Coat that I like better than any other of the Equestria Girl dolls so far. Um, 
is one with this line they are doing cloth clothing instead of just painted on tops she has a cloth jacket and it's really cool different fire and like motocross fast sort of uh, pictures the little skull with the wings and then the lightning bolt with wings and the front looks all fiery and cool and the second thing I'll show you here in one second both sugar goat sugar coat and indigo zap both have joints in the elbow so you can straighten up their arm you can bend it it has more flexibility now and in the knees which yes please more more equestrian girls with more articulation i love it um this arm does this arm not have a joint the one did and then now they have one without oh no it does i was just bending it wrong i guess whoops her wings just fell off Oh, there we go. There we go. The jacket makes a little hard to bend it sometimes, but they do bend, which I like that a thousand times more than the stagnant arms that came before. Then Indigo Zap has this cool um, side, like tilted to the side belt that has studs on it in the purple color. And then she has these leggings um, that are purple. And they have red stitching and then a yellow pattern of a lightning bolt in stars. Her legs are different colors. There's one that's orange and one that is red. So that's like even more stockings, but those are painted on. And then going down into her boots, she has these blue, purpley blue boots and it has yellow laces and buckles. And here's Sugar Coat. She comes with her glasses on and they're pink. They're the same design as uh, Indigo Zap for the shadow bolts. She has a pale skin and then white hair. I'm going to take the glasses off so you can see the eye makeup underneath. And then Sugar Coat, I really like her eye makeup underneath her glasses. This pink against her pale skin is really pretty. And she has hot pink lips. And then it looks like a firecracker underneath her eye. Sugar Coat is really pretty to me. I love the white hair. Moving down into her outfit, she has this little thin scarf that is blue with orange polka dots. A short jacket that is mixture of orange and black and polka dots and then there's crossbone on the one arm and uh, what is that? It's a little green skull with orange wings. Once again I'm really really happy that the clothes are made of fabric instead of painted on and both indigo sap and sugar coat both have these yellow equestrian girl necklaces that go with the app and the undershirt for sugar coat is this the purpley blue color that's like the shadow boat color in this red color and then she has these shorts on that are plaid with a mixture of all the colors from her outfit and then each leg is painted a different color. One is the shadow boat color and then one is yellow and they go down into these red boots with blue laces. And just in case you were wondering if these girls can really wear the helmets, yes they can. Okay, next up is the motocross bike and it comes with this awesome helmet here. Um, you can see it's blue with purple accent and then out the back is some pink and purple swirled hair and a nice tight ponytail uh, curl. So there's an extra helmet for your uh, equestrian girl. Now let's check out the bike and the details. I really love that they did this horse head shape on the front of the bike and it even has this golden armor and red eyes. This face right here kind of reminds me of the sirens from uh, uh, Rainbow Rocks. And the main body of the 
Spike is this almost see-through blue sparkles and that has lots of purple, pink, and gold accents. There's all these stickers on it. The front wheel is pink. You get all the little details up close for you guys. It does stand on its own, that kickstand. And then out the back, there's these two metallic sparkly gold wings, which on the box says it fits your Equestria Girl. So we'll have to check that out. And here's just a quick look at the other side. Obviously, not meant so much more like as much for display because it doesn't have the nice stickers and has most of the screws on showing on the one side, but it still has a pretty good des design that matches the other side, just not quite as fancy. Okay, here's some handy dandy instructions that just fell down. Um, um, how I'm going to make these wings work for my Equestria Girl. Not only do you have to take off the wings, also right here on the end, this little piece that looks like um, a spade comes out. So you're going to need this too. Okay, so what you're going to do is take this and then each wing goes on each side. It fits into the spade part. There's one. And let's check out. Oh, the, man, these are going to be some giant wings. Oh my gosh. There we go. So now they are ready to be inserted into the Equestria Girl of your choice. And check out um, how they look on both Indigo Zap and Sugar Coated. Oh my goodness, she has giant golden wings. And yeah, look how he, they actually stay in really, really well. But look at that. Oh, <laughs> super wings. I think these are definitely. Um, well, when I look at them, I definitely think of Sunset Shimmer. So I'm going to have to get a Friendship Games Sunset Shimmer at some point. Try these out on. And he is sugar-coated with the wings. She looks pretty cool with them, too. What do you guys think? And here's what they look like from behind on sugar-coated. I think Indigo Zap's getting a little jealous. You can also stick the wings on the back of the bike like this. But it kind of looks a little silly and doesn't seem like it would be very aerodynamic for racing. Okay, okay, enough fun with the wings. Um, so it looks like you can fit up to two Equestria Girls on the bike and it stands up on its own. And they fit quite well together. And I think they look awesome. What do you guys think? So I thought it would be fun to do a little quick versus against... Um, the convertible, DJ Pond convertible against the motocross uh, bike. These are the two um, doll vehicles for Equestria Girls, uh, different movies. Uh, the convertible, of course, is from the second movie, Rainbow Rocks. And then the motocross bike is from Friendship Games. So, overview, what do you guys think? Do you like the convertible or the motocross bike better? Based on colors alone, I think I prefer the convertible because I like purple, blue, and white together a little better than I like the color scheme for this bike. But based on design, I really love the bike. I love, love, love this this part right here that made it look like a horse, I think that was really cool. I like the wings. I think they're fun and kind of silly sometimes when you put them on some of the Equestria Girls, which makes for fun times. Um, as far as accessories go, this convertible um, came with the doll. And unfortunately, right now, the motocross bike just comes alone. But they might make a version where they give it a doll or two, like um, the cardboard cutout was of Rainbow Dash and Sunset Shimmer. 
So maybe eventually they will put out the bike in a pack that includes the dolls. But for this set, uh, it just had the bike. And then it had the helmet and then the wings that you can play around with the dolls. And for the convertible, it came with these pairs of glasses which are made for you to wear. So that was interacting with you more than the bike does. And then with the doll, you have her glasses. So you could match DJ Pond with your car, which is a really cute, cool concept. Good for like taking pictures and being silly. So which of these two do you guys prefer? Let me know down in the comments. Oh my gosh, guys. I just realized the helmet that comes with the motocross bike totally matches DJ Pond and her convertible way more than it does the motocross bike. So now DJ Pond has her own helmet. Yes. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this unboxing and review of both uh, Indigo Zap and Sugar Coat Sporty Style, which is the motocross style for the friendship games, and then the motocross bike review. I think overall they're really cool. I love, love, love the new direction with the uh, increased articulation and fabric clothes. And as far as the motocross bike, it might not be my favorite color combination, but I still think the front of it is really cool and it's fun to pose your Equestria Girls on. They look awesome on this bike. They look really, really, really cool. Even, you know, it's like all the colors though. Uh, all mixed up. Um, but yeah, leave your comment down below. What do you guys think of the bike and the dolls? Give this video a thumbs up and finally if you're a new viewer hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys later